always thought I'd go far away on mission. I really did. I really thought my calling would be international, and I never, never in a million years thought that the Lord would ask me to walk outside of my door and get to know my neighbors. I'm Kristen Schell, and I live in Austin, Texas. I am a wife and a mother of four children. Any given day, I am in the kitchen or in the minivan. I am active in the kids' school. I'm a writer, and I volunteer at church. We've been in this neighborhood um, almost 10 years. I always knew we were supposed to love our neighbors because that's the great commandment. But how you live that out day to day is hard, um, especially when you don't know your neighbors, which is the situation I was in. I did not know my neighbors. Sure, I knew you know a handful of them. And so there was this huge question, what do you want me to do, Lord? Here I am, Lord, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to walk across the street and bang on doors? Do you want me to take cookies? What do you want me to do, Lord? God answers prayers in really winsome ways. I was hosting a party with a friend in our backyard and I didn't have any tables. And so I ordered a picnic table from Lowe's. And when it arrived two days later, I knew. I knew that for the purposes of the party, I was gonna have it in my backyard. But as soon as that party was over, I was moving that table in the front yard and it was gonna be a gathering place. And so I painted it turquoise, which is my favorite color. And I did, I put it outside underneath the tree in the front yard. It was awkward at first. So I have this table, it's bright turquoise, it's sitting in the front yard, and now I'm like, well, now what do I do? So I took a whole bunch of stuff out with me. I took my phone and my journal and my computer, and I even um, I had some art stuff that I was working on because, you know, I needed to look like I was just doing something. By going out front, I was saying to God, here I am, Lord, your will be done. Go before, behind, and beside me into the neighborhood. And that very day, life changed. And I met a neighbor within three hours of putting a table out in my front yard. A lot has happened since putting the table out there. There are a handful of women who are now very close friends who I did not know. It has become kind of a gathering place. I'm Bob. Nice to this meet is you. my daughter, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the best things is just the sense of normal community, everyday life. The neighborhood kids come over, they'll do homework when the weather's pretty, we've had lemonade stands, hot cocoa stands. More intimately, um, it's a place where I can meet and have met neighbors um, who now pop by with coffee and just for 15 minutes, a, co you a conversation over coffee that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> the Lord has taught me and I am learning to be present. Um, that it, Sounds like it should be a no-brainer, but listening is not um, a skill that came naturally at first to me, nor was being present. This was really, really fun. It was great to see you here. Loving my neighbors has taught me how to love God better. It's drawn me into deeper relationship with Him. You don't need permission or a program to go outside and be who Christ has called you to be. When we open up our front door, and we take three steps right out our front yard, good things happen. Open up your door and let God do the rest.